All right, welcome back. So now we're ready to get started with our first operation. But let's go over the MasterCam flowchart real quick to see where we are. So this is the MasterCam flowchart. And what we've done already is selected the machine type, the geometry, and we define the tool settings and the stock. So the next thing we want to do is we want to select the tool path and create one, two, three, four. So we want to do all these four and keep repeating them until we have all the operations done for exercise number two. So I'm going to minimize this and let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get rid of, I'm going to zoom into this area. We're going to get rid of the facing uh, face of the part, all that over stock. Remember we added 50,000, so 0 0.050 to the stock, to the, to the end part. So we need to face that up to get a nice clean surface finish on that part right here. So go to toolpath and face. And let's go ahead and call that NC name exercise two. Now, if you didn't get an error over here, or if you didn't, you did not get a pop-up, or there you go. So there's my pop-up. If you do not get it, that means you set up your part right. If you did, that means you didn't. So I'm gonna select no for now, and cancel out real quick. And I need to go to planes now, plane manager, select my plus D plus D, and I need to make sure that the world corner system and the tool plane are both next to the construction plane on that, just like we've done on exercise number one. So select equal to, and it will bring them both here. Now select okay. So now go back to the toolpath and create it again. And you should not get that error. All right, there we go. So for the OD rough right, we want to select that for uh, facing the part and call it facing operation. Go ahead and select face parameters. We want to change the use stock at zero because we want it to stop machining right here at the zero origin, okay? Come over here under the entry amount, leave it at 0.1. This is just the entry amount towards your part. We're going to change the rough step over to 0 0.025. Remember, it's 50,000, so 0 0.050 is how much we're machining from here to here. So the rough will be 0 0.025, and the finish would be 10,000. So that means it will rough out 0 0.025. The next one will be 0 0.015, because it has to leave 0 0.010 to machine in the last finish pass, okay? The overcut amount will be 0.1 and the retract, we can change this one to 0 0.05 and retract this 0 0.05 as well. All right, so that's all it is. Select OK and there you go. It will select your entire machining, machining your entire part. And so this is your first tool path. This is your first pass will be 0 0.025. Your second one is 0 0.015 and your last one is 0 0.010 thou. So 25 thou, 15 thou and 10,000 at the end over here to finish. And to verify all that, go ahead and select your verify selected operation. And let's go ahead and view that a little bit better, fit the screen. I'm gonna zoom in real quick right here and go ahead and play it out. So there's your machine, machining. There's your first toolpath. Now we have it on slow so we can speed it up if we want to. And there you go. Now if you wanna see the toolpath again, you can go over here to uh, view and you can come over here under, I'm sorry, under home and then select toolpath. And now you'll see your toolpath that you see in your uh, master cam. Uh, now you can see it in your master cam simulation as well. So everything looks good. All right. So that concludes this. So, so the next video, we're going to rough out the part.